Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll walk you through on how you can convert an Android JAR file into a Xamarin Android Java binding library. So essentially, you're converting a .jar file, which is a Java archive format, into a DLL assembly format. So let's get started. Download a file, a JAR file for Picasso. You can download it using this URL. I'll leave the URL on our comment section here. And the version that we're going to test it will be on 2.5.2. And this is the file that you're going to download. Just say keep. And here's the file. I'm going to close this because I'm done with this. So in order to convert the JAR file, you're going to have to use uh, Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2019. So once this is launched, you're going to create a brand new project. And then under this search field, type binding so that it filters only the binding libraries. So the Binding uh, li project library we'll be using will be Android Binding Library. As you can see, there's iOS Binding Library as well for iOS platform, but there's none for Microsoft platform there. So anyway, I'm going to go use Android Binding Library and click Next. And I'm going to give this a name, Jar Binding. And I'm going to put it in this particular directory. And I'm going to keep the solution name exactly the same as the project name and hit Create. So once this once the studio has loaded, you're gonna to have to expand jar here and right click and add existing item. And you're gonna to navigate to the spot where you have put the JAR file. Mine's on was on the desktop here. Click here, jar. And you should see a jar come up here. This is your JAR file that you downloaded just now. So on the build action, there's two types of building you can do. One is embedded. The other one is input jar. The difference between those is that on an embedded jar, uh, the jar file will be inside built on your application itself. But on the input jar, the jar file will be on the side separately. So you have to make sure that the JAR file is uh, residing on your mobile device uh, in order for this thing to run. So to keep things simple, I normally use embedded jar. And the next thing you have to do is to target the device that this DLL file is for. Normally the the developer who published this uh, JAR file will tell you which version is it compatible for. For this one here, developer is recommending API level 19, Android Xamarin 4.4 is supported. So in order to make that modification, you go to you go properties and you open. And then on this section here, you say uh, version 4.4, which is a KitKat. Say yes. So that's how you cap the binding. So once that's done, close this guy and you hit build. So what build does is that essentially creates a DLL file out of a JAR file. So you can see the build is successful. And if you navigate to the project directory, you will find the DLL file in this location here. So this is the DLL file we'll be referencing in our Xamarin application next. So I'm going to push this away on the side and I'm going to close this. So next thing you want to do is to open the studio or your projects that uh, your Xamarin is residing on and create a reference back to the JAR binding DLL file. So I'm just going to create a brand new app for myself here. Android app. I'm just going to keep things simple and just say app one. Create. It's going to be a blank for this demo. And I'm going to let it create a file. And after that, the Visual Studio will launch. So once the Visual Studio launches, you go right click on reference, right click on this guy here and hit add references. And you go browse. Jar binding, binding. And go to the location where you have recently created the binding. So this is the binding file or rather the DLL file that you just recently created. Click on it and add. And you get added to this list here. Hit OK, and you should see JAR binding in here. From here on, you can start using the Picasso uh, library to do a quick test using com dot square up dot Picasso. You can see it's, it's working, right? So, um, and you can start creating. See, it detects all the 
method and functions that's available in Picasso. I hope this tutorial helps. If it does, please like and thumbs up. Other than that, have a good day. Bye.